These are paramecium's uh, from a sample jar. Uh, the sample was sent to me from North Carolina. I believe the uh, water comes from a public fountain uh, that collects the runoff into a, some sort of a basin near the near the uh, water fountain, and the birds use that as a uh, a bird bath. So these paramecians, which I can find here in the Mississippi River, but they uh, generally die off before uh, a few days, and I can't keep them alive at all in my aquarium, or haven't been able to. I'm going to try some of these in there and see if they live. So these survived a ride on the uh, USPS truck in 80 and 90 degree weather from there North Carolina to Wisconsin and further they've survived about three weeks after I uh, put some uh, a little scoop of yeast into the water and kept the water up from evaporation with the lid off the jar kept the water up with distilled water periodically adding a little bit and as you can see they're quite alive and active however the slide is about 15 minutes old already before I started recording so uh, the slides driving out drying out and these are probably at the end of their life or close to it so their shapes aren't quite right they're just blown up too fat uh, but you can see I believe in the center area of each one you can see a, a kind of a shadowy round section similar similar to the two vacuoles you can see here but the center round ones about three times that size you can see it there as it turns you can see it just kind of a shadowy I believe that's the large nucleus and I believe it has a couple other small nuclei nuclei and I don't know what the black stuff is I think it's probably uh, poisons in the uh, in the bug itself because they're under stress the water's drying out and in this one you can see the mouth in the bottom center there and it turns so now it's on the back side and these are things to watch for there's the mouth at the top in this one in the middle now as it rolls This is at 20 power here with oblique illumination. And here we go to 40 power. The mouth is in the center. The large nucleus is to the right of that. It's just kind of a vague outline of it. Different texture it looks like. There's two vacuoles in the back. And the, there they just, they just expelled. Now they're filling up again. I don't know what these angular things are. I think they're, like I said, I think they're uh, poisons, crystals, something or other. That if they were healthy, you wouldn't see them. And the vacuoles are used to uh, collect and expel the water inside the uh, paramecium's cell wall. Here on the left 
except it's a large nucleus you can see it better now that it's not moving around it has a different texture than the rest of it so you get, which is what makes it visible